Hey guys, this is Emerald Fire. Today I have for you a silent, very compact dual edge detector. I don't know if this has been discovered before, but I discovered it myself while testing something else. It works with some strange redstone behavior. Whenever I flick this lever, this wire will turn off and then on again in the same tick, causing a zero tick pulse. But if I hook a dropper up to the output, you can hear that the dropper clicks every time the lever is flicked which means that it is a rising and falling edge detector, a dual edge detector. If I make some slight modifications here, then you can use it with a redstone output directly. So I'll put comparator here, I'll put one item in the hopper, and now you can see whenever I flick this lever, this lamp will pulse on, just like that. If you want to use a version that doesn't use a redstone torch, so there's no risk of burnout, you can use this slightly larger and slightly more expensive design. Instead of 3x2, it's 4x2. There is just one item in this furnace, the comparator is on subtract mode, and the repeaters have the same delay as over there. So if I put a dropper over here and some items in it, it works the same as the other one. Over here is a different version of this, but it doesn't actually work. You see, when this torch turns off and this repeater turns on, then this wire would become depowered and then powered, but the other way around, it doesn't work. So if I put this here and update it, if I flick this, or if I flick this, it'll click, but then the other way, it doesn't because the repeater is operated on before the torch. So this will turn off before the torch turns on, meaning the wire turns off and then on, but this will turn on before this turns off, which means the wire will stay on. So it doesn't click. However, for some reason, adding an extra repeater changes this behavior so that it alternates every time. If you put a repeater after the torch and make the other repeater two ticks to keep the delay even, it pulses every single time. And sometimes glitchy redstone behavior can change depending on the location of the world and the orientation of the device, but from my testing, it's been the same everywhere. So if I build this up over here, let's put a torch, a repeater, and two ticks, and let's get some redstone wire over here. Okay, two ticks, one tick, redstone wire, and here's a dropper. Now, it should behave the same way as before. So it's pretty consistent. Even if it's a glitch, it's useful for redstone inventions. And that's about it. Thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you all next time.